welcome to the Barstool Sports Advisor, America's premier sports information program with Dave El Prez Portnoy. Dan, Big Cat Caps. And the source, Stu Finer. Welcome to Barstool Sports Advisors. It is week one of the NFL. If you're looking for winners, well, folks, you've come to the right place. I am your host, Big Cat, and I am joined by two esteemed gentlemen. First up, we have Stu Finer, your source. Stu, say hello to the people. Ready to roll, ready to roll, ready to roll. Let me just say it is an honor to be on Barstool Sports Advisors. We already have blown up the internet through Barstool Sports through El Presidente, through Big Cat. We're now gonna blow your TV set up. So there's nothing wrong with your TV if smoke's coming out of the TV. We are that hot, ready to roll to provide you with the best information money can buy. Statistical information, past performances, weather reports, injury reports, and pertinent information that makes you a winner, winner, winner. Thank you, Stu. And to his right, it is El Prez, Dave Portnoy, the man who needs no introductions, but here's his introduction. Dave. Happy to be here, Dan. It's a long time coming on TV. Uh, the entire year, you live for three to four months. Everything you make goes into these three or four months. I'm excited to be here. I'm glad to be with Stu. I'm glad to be with you, Dan. Let's go. Okay, gentlemen, it is great that we are back. The NFL is back. Football is back. How are you guys feeling going into week one? Uh, I always feel good. I feel nervous. I feel excited. I mean, it's a big, you know, this is, this is why you live. Like yes. the rest of the months where you get your sleep, it's gone. There's no sleep now. The second the season starts, you're awake 24-7, every minute, every day. You're sweating, you're dreaming, you're trying to win. So this is what it's all about. Absolutely. I mean, I concur, Dave. It's the hardest thing in the world to win money betting on sports. Make no mistake about it. It's not easy. It is hard. We are experts at what we do, whether it's media, whether it's entertainment, or whether it's giving you the best information money can buy. Week one's very important because you do not want to come out of the box hard and blow your bankroll. You've been waiting for six months. Take it easy. It's a long season. We're going to be there for you. We have your back. We're like insurance for you. We will make you money, we will entertain you, and we will build you a bankroll. I disagree totally. I think you come out of the gates have gunning. To, have to gunning. come out no! of the gates gunning. No! Bet all your money all on right, Listen to the game. amateurs. Run okay. and gun, run and gun, build the payroll. This is before the bookmaker can catch up with the lines. This yes. is when you have the advantage. Yes. Well, we, that's a fallacy. That's nonsense. We'll that's see, never see. happened in the history of life. We'll okay. See. All right. It's nonsense. All right. Well, let's get right into it. Let's start with Jacksonville at the New York Giants. The Giants are plus three. The over/under is forty-three and a half. Stu, I'm going to start with you. I already have I already have the winner in this game, but I want to hear how wrong you're going to be. Well, I I think three points laying on the road is a big number. They have Saquon, they have Odell. I think they're gonna be able to really help Eli and protect him a little bit. So it's a much different team than last year. Obviously, if Jacksonville last year came into the Giants, last year they'd be laying seven, eight. So you're not wrong with your assertion there. But let me say something right now. This is a new Giant team. This is a Giant squad that wants to make a point, that wants to get out of the box fast. For me, Jacksonville is a juggernaut. I think they're lineup and their roster is probably the second or third best in the NFL. Let's go Eagles, let's go Vikings, and let's go Jaguars. I'd say equivalent to the Patriots. They had the Patriots on the ropes. They should have beat them. Should have beat them. They were dead with Blake Bortles as the quarterback. But I think in this game, it's a must win for the New York Giants. You can say, how could week one be a must win? This is a must win for the New York Giants. After three and 13, they need the momentum. Jacksonville's not gonna play this game life or death. Although Tom Coughlin would love to come in there and ruin everybody's day, New York's day. Coughlin would wanna shine. I like the Giants in this game in a high scoring game. Stu just called the Jaguars a juggernaut. I saw your face, Dave. Well, juggernaut, I mean, they've been the worst team in the league every year, except they have a good year last year. And by the way, Stu, you said they should Great beat the year. Patriots. If they should have. If it's in butts or candy, every day would be Christmas. So give me a break with this. We should beat the Patriots well, stuff. They covered. Okay. They did well, cover. Good I mean, teams, yeah. good, good teams said, win, great teams cover. You said they should have beat them. I'm I just think saying. They should have. All right, great. But I mean, again, if it's in butts or whatever, that's a different story for a different time, Stu. Um, listen, 
I think the Giants will be much better this year. I, Saquon Barkley, rookie of the year, I see him. He's one big muscle. The guy is a muscle. He's mm -hmm. one big muscle. Odell uh, Beckham, he's, he's happy. I think that makes a difference. He's dancing around. He's doing all these, the Bernie, every dancer you can name, he's doing it. The Giants will be good. Now, they can't overcome the fact uh, Eli Manning's 150 years old. That's a factor. Will the Jags be good this year? Yeah, they'll be okay. Are they going to be back in the AFC Championship? Absolutely not. There's no chance. The Jags had one good year, and that's maybe because in the AFC, it's a rotating cast of characters that pop up and play the Patriots. I do agree with you, Dan. Well, I actually, I shouldn't say that. I agree with you, Stu. I think three. We've got actually, a flip-flopper yeah, here. Well, sometimes you do that. We've got a flip-flopper here. You say one here. thing, and then the fish happens. You yeah. flop over. But I meant to say I agree with him. I think three points for the Giants to catch at home is actually a pretty big spread. A home dog on the first game of the season. They're opening this new sports book at the Meadowlands. People are the money's going to be flying in. I actually like the Giants to cover this game because I'm not sold on the Jags. Jalen Ramsey, I heard he's not playing. He's playing Tommy. Is Jalen Ramsey playing? He is playing. Okay, because I read that he wasn't. So that I, I had my entire pick based on the fact that he wasn't playing. I guess he is. I still like the Giants at home catching points. I think their offense, I don't know. Eli makes me nervous. I still like it because I think Jacksonville is going to slide this year. And, and our go guy the boat was never great on the road. Well, here's the thing, boys. This is the rat line of the week because the Giants won three games last year. The Jaguars, as Stu has said, is they are a juggernaut. That's they insane. were a quarter away from the Super Bowl. Why is this line only three? Because Why it's still is this the line? Jags. Right. This three line is makes a big no number. sense. Three so you should take line. the Giants. And guess what? I'm one step ahead. I'm taking the Jaguars minus three. I'm taking the under. Let's, though, check the weather with our weather girl, Jenna. How's it going to look in New York? So right now it's looking a little rainy. So I would get your, uh, your raincoats ready. Okay. Well, uh, it's the game's in New York, but we're going with Jacksonville down there. That's fine. The Rain's rainy wet. weather underneath. They we're going under, 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 under. With I'm going over. Rainy weather. All right. Forget okay. about rainy weather. Next up, we have uh, Houston at New England. The Texans are coming to New England. They never win in New England. The Houston is 0-5 in their last five games against the Patriots. The line is Patriots minus 6.5, over under 50.5. Stu, let's start with you. Who do you like in this game? No one knows better than Dave and Dan how the Patriots are going to perform. September for them has traditionally been a rough month where it's not necessarily where they have to come out of the box so hard and so strong. Houston Texans, again, um, are healthy right now. Watson's back at the helm, and they were amazing. They have arguably the best defense in the NFL. They have an offensive team that can score points at will right now. I think this will be a very high-scoring game. Tremendously, a lot, a lot of points. I think the Patriots are going to win in overtime. In overtime. So I'm taking the Texans plus the number. I think the Pats post a, a victory, but they're not going to cover the points. Man. It's a bold pick to pick a game to go overtime. I'm not sure I've ever heard that. Yeah. It's, it's cool. wow. overtime. To call it on the nose is going to overtime. That's why I get paid the big bucks. I am. Uh, this is going to be one of the first mortal locks that you hear. It's my Letterman jacket mortal lock of the year. Now, think about it. 2012. That's when the Texans came in. For all you fans out there, they wore the Letterman jackets. They got made up. It was Monday Night Football. They're the cream of the crop. Texans this, Texans that. Patriots beat them, I think, 42 to nothing, something crazy like that. They murdered the Texans franchise. They murdered. The Patriots have done this a lot. They murder teams. They beat you so bad in a pivotal game in your franchise that you never come back. You go in the grave. And the Texans have not been the same since that. They've never rebounded. Braves lost once, I think, his career. eight and one versus these guys. Not to mention, I don't know if you guys saw Tom versus Time. He's ready to go. He's pissed. He says he's going to play forever. This is my Letterman jacket, mortal lock of the year. Put it in. Patriots not only win this game, they win it big because they always win it big versus Texas. Deshaun Watson, this, the guy's, the guy's played like four games in his career. Watch Tom vs. Time tell me, Letterman jacket, put it in the books. Okay, well, I don't think you can ignore Dave Portnoy's Letterman jacket lock of the year, especially with inside sources such as a Facebook video that the whole world watched. Uh, Tommy has a stat for us. He told me a little birdie said there was a birdie on Tommy's door, and he said, hey, Tommy, why don't you give us a stat on this game? Yeah, I've had my team pouring through the record books all week long, and they came up with this stat for me. The last time Tom Brady lost a home game to an AFC South opponent is the day Saddam Hussein was sentenced to death by hanging. November 5th, 2006. He Perfect. is 13 and 5 against the spread against the AFC South opponents in his last 18 games. He's 120 straight. Take the Pats. 
Thank wow. you, Tommy. Thank you, what Tommy. I didn't even stat. know. It. Put Look, that. How did I know down that? now? Yeah. Are we That's in Saudi Arabia? Bin, 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 bin no, we are. No, we're not. Right? Take no. the bin Patriots. Laden. Dead. Okay, uh, Jenna. We have some weather in Foxborough. What's it going to look like on Sunday? So it's going to look a little cloudy on Sunday, you guys. But I think the game will still be fine. Okay, let's throw. Let's make it official. And yeah, we're close <laughs> enough. Okay. There it is. Oh, Where is it? It's at the bottom. bottom. <laughs> the game is being played in New England, but in the biggest uh, state in the country. It could also be cloudy in Houston. We don't know. No. All clouds right. don't sure. matter. No, no, no. Last song for time. Uh, the next game that we're going to discuss before we take a quick break, we have the San Francisco 49ers at the Minnesota Vikings. The 49ers are plus six and a half. The over-under is 46. The 49ers are the darling of the offseason. Dave, do you like Jimmy G in this spot? So Jimmy G, uh, I, he's one of those guys, he's getting so much credit before he does anything. Yeah, he won a couple games at the end of the season with the 49ers. Big deal. The, half the teams they played had quit at that point. They didn't care anymore. They were done. Uh, the Vikings have a good team. The Vikings have a good team. So my, I guess my thought on this, it's in Minnesota. Uh, it's Kirk Cousins' first game. That's who I actually am more interested to see. I like the Vikings to win this. It could be close. The 49ers always play everybody close. But I'm not sold on Jimmy G, and I think it's one of those things. Anytime the entire country is basically wigging out about somebody, going nuts about somebody, I go the other way. So I'm taking the Vikings. I'm taking Kirk Cousins. Uh, it could be close, but if I'm going ahead, I'm taking the Vikings in this game. Stu, who do you like in this game? This is an amazing game because the 49ers and John Lynch are locked and loaded to make a move here. There's no two ways about it. Vikings, in my opinion, second best team in the NFL. Philadelphia Eagles are number one. Vikings are number two. Their roster yes. say it all, okay? There's no two ways about that, okay? No two ways about that. And I believe the 49ers have a shot to roll into Minnesota, which it's almost impossible to win there. Almost impossible. Kurt Cousins, 150 million. I'm looking for an outright upset here. I think the 49ers will win the game. And contrary to public belief, contrary to popular opinion, I think it'll be a very high scoring game. Remember, Al Pacino played me in the movie too for the money. You see this set? This is the exact same set, Al Pacino, Matthew McConaughey, and Jerry, Jeremy Piven. We buy and sell them. We have myself, El Prince, and Big Cat. So listen, when the right information from the right people is given to you, listen, listen, I've been doing this for 40 years. I'm the number one sports advisor in the world for a reason. When I talk, people listen. Ready to roll, ready to roll, ready to roll. All right, Dave. Stu, you're an absolute moron. This game is going under. Don't listen to anything he just said, people. Thank you, God. I know it says life's too short to bet the under, but for this game, bet the under. Uh, it's played in uh, Minnesota, Jenna. What do you like for weather here for the Minnesota Vikings versus the San Francisco 49ers? Well, it's being played inside, you dummy. So I don't really think it matters. Who's the ball right now? Okay. Stu, a quick question there. Yes. I, if you said the Vikings are the second best team in the league, why are they losing at home on opening night? I just think Frisco's ready. Frisco's loaded. Frisco's up and coming. Frisco common. is Frisco. Listen, Minnesota's amazing. They're absolutely. Kirk Cousins is going to light them up. I think Frisco's loaded. I think Frisco's going to light them up. Frisco makes no sense. Is frisky, and we're coming back with two more game previews for you. Larry the Gambling Goldfish and our Mortal Locks. You do not want to change the dial. Hey, are you sick and tired of losing money? We got winners, winners, winners. Don't worry, Barstool Sports Advisors coming to you every Sunday. Do you guys think we're ever going to lose? Hi, I'm Corky McCollum, world-renowned entrepreneur and founder of The Kite. It's a portable vape charger specifically designed so you can keep your SHIT together. <laughs> K-I-T-E, keeping it together every day. Charges your vape up to three times, conveniently stores three pods, comfortably fits in your pocket. Also, can scan for ghosts. Kite, always stay charged. Welcome back to the Barstool Sports Advisors. Next up, we have our gambling goldfish, 
Larry the Gambling Goldfish. He finished with 60% winners in the year 2016. You can always trust Larry. Let's see who he has. What's up guys, it's me PFT. I'm here with my very special friend. You might recognize him, Larry the Gambling Goldfish 6. He's so new, he's still in his little bag. How cute is that? So me and Larry are gonna be helping to make one special pick every week with a little help from some of my friends. <laughs> well howdy, it's me PFT. I'm here with my info scores goldfish, Larry Six. You can recall Larry Five, his body's been in suspended animation or block of ice for about the last eight months. We're on to Larry Six, and folks, if you're like me, you're looking for a safe investment, I'm here to tell you, doesn't get any safer than this, okay? America lost its way in 1967 when we went off the gold standard. Well, it's time to get back on the gold fish standard. That's right, no more fiat currency. Buy a t-shirt for Larry the Six. Get you an ownership stake in the world's most successful gambling goldfish, folks. It's that simple. So let's get to the pick here. We got the New England Patriots and the Houston Texans. I've been reviewing documents all afternoon. I've been swimming in documents, folks. This is, now what this is, it's a rematch of Jade Helm 2014, okay? That's when the Patriots invaded Texas, trying to take all their liberty away from them. We fought back and we stopped from then. Let's see what Larry has to say now. Let's see what you got, a little Charco Rubio in there, you little frat boy fish. So I'm gonna drop him in here and see which way he swim. What do you say, Larry? He's right down the middle. This fish can't make up his mind. Oh, no, I'm calling it, I'm calling it. Larry is a true patriot, amen. And there's not enough of this in the world today, okay? We got all these Federalists coming after us, trying to take away your liberty, your guns, your computers, your search engines. I'll tell you what, I'm sick of it. I've had it up to here, I've had it up to here. I can feel it in my bones when Obama comes after my Google. I'm coming after you now, Obama. Search suits on the other foot, back to you. Hi, I'm Thinker, master of time and space. But today, I just want to focus on time and football. On a football Saturday, you tailgate, and then you go to the game, and then you celebrate your team's victory. Unless they suck. That game day experience lasts more than a day. However, even a fully charged jewel lasts less than a day. Hmm, that's not good. So, let me show you how a master baits time into working for him. Introducing the Kite Portable Jewel Charger. Kite can fully charge your jewel up to three times while you stay on the go. Kite Portable Vape Charger for masters of time and space. Compatible with jewel. Okay boys, we have two more games on the slate that we want to get to. Dallas at Carolina is where we'll start. Carolina is minus three. The over-under is 43. Dave, do you believe in the Cowboys this year? I don't believe in the Cowboys. Uh, Des Bryant gone. Uh, I know no one's signing this, that. I, I'm not sold on them. Maybe it's because they're not on hard knocks. Maybe because they haven't had as uh, crazy an offseason as they usually have. Yep. I feel like they're generally always in your face. I haven't heard much about them. Uh, so, no, I'm not a believer in the Cowboys. And... I am a believer in the Panthers. For whatever reason, I keep waiting for the bounce back here from the Panthers when they went to the Super Bowl and lost to the Broncos. That team, I keep waiting to show up. I will wait for that team to show up for the next 20 years mm -hmm. because they still have Cam Newton. They still have Greg Olson. Uh, they're going to fly around on defense. When they wear the black uniforms, I feel like they're ready to kill people. So at home, I think Carolina is always a tough place to play. In the Cowboys, if Jerry Jones isn't telling me how great they are, I refuse to believe it. Yeah, Dak's back. Uh, you know, the running back, he's not hes not flashing boobs. He's not doing all the things. He's been out of the news. But I am taking Carolina in this game because they are going to return to the Super Bowl form. I guarantee it. Okay, Stu. Ezekiel Elliott, like Dave said, not flashing boobs. He's not. This well, offseason. Listen, listen, one bite. You know the rules out of your bankroll if you listen to what you just said, Why? baby. That was ugly. First of all, Why? first of all, wow. Dallas is going to roll into Carolina and bury them. Just like you said, you're going to wait for 20 years. Carolina is done. See you so long. Bye-bye. Cam Newton just does not have the touch. 
He does. He just wants to run with the ball. He thinks it's college football, and their defense is porous. It's not as good as it used to be. They had three four, fourth quarter collapses with the lead last year, and they just blew it. They could not stop anybody. They can't stop anybody. Let me tell you something right now. Dallas is ready to roll. I'll tell you, Ezekiel Elliott's going to run wild. Dak Prescott, this will be his best year ever. They are under the radar right now with the Cowboys, just like you said, which is very interesting. There's no crazy stories. There's no blah, blah here and there with the Cowboys because they're all business. Finally, Jerry Jones said business as usual. They roll into Carolina in a high-scoring game and blow the Panthers out. Blow them out. Blow them out. I think Stu has every single over. You need this mug. This is your mug. You have every it? single over. Life's too short to bet the under. Every single over week Whoa! one. Uh, I'll make a side wager with you, which you can always do. I bet Christian yeah. McCaffrey has a better, bigger game than Ezekiel Elliott. That's is a side wager, folks. Done. Done. What are we, Done. What, what, I don't know how we're going to quantify it. On the table. it. Hundred dollar bill we'll put on the table. We're, we're going to qualify it in fantasy stats. It's the only way to qualify it. It'll be uh, touchdowns, rushing yardage. Whoever had more fantasy points, Ezekiel versus Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, watch out. Breakout year, watch out. No, he's amazing. I love Christian. I love okay. Him. No the, issue about it. Well, then well, we just, just made lost hundred bucks. Well, Listen, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. The gauntlet has been thrown. We're going to do it. Fantasy stats according to FanDuel. All right, last one. Well played, coming Dave. up. Thanks, Dave. All right, last game coming up. It is the Chicago Bears, the Green Bay Packers. I am very excited for this game. Khalil Mack going to be in uniform, going to be a terror for Aaron Rodgers. Stu, who do you have in this game? Well, let me tell you something right now. This is the game that I'm making the biggest bet on for the entire week. This is the game that will signify does Stu find to have a winning week or a losing week? Let me tell you something right now. I am an expert at picking winners. This is the only thing I've ever done since 1980. I didn't just roll out of bed and start picking winners. This is 38 years, every day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And the way you make money gambling is you bet all the games during the week for fun. But you load up on one game that you think's gonna win. This is the game, Sunday night. Now listen, if you've got crushed, buried, destroyed, probably by listening to Dave and Dan. You need help, I'm your guy. Get over to StuFinder.com. Get over to StuFinder.com. Get the winner right now. You pay me, I make you money. You pay me, I send you money. I'm Stu Finder. you're not. For a reason. Okay, Dave, who do well, you like in this game? Well, I'm gonna save everybody the trouble having to call your line because on his, uh, I'm gonna give the winner of this game right here. And if you call Stu's line and he gives you a different pick, then you hang up and you call Stu a moron. The Packers are going to kill the Bears. Oh, uh, Khalil no, Mack no, no, this. No, no, Khalil, no. And, and, and it's exactly what you said, Dan. Everyone's talking about Khalil Mack, Khalil Mack, Khalil Mack. He's been there for a cup of coffee. He doesn't know the schemes. He's going to be probably banging into each other like that robot game when the guys are just vibrating all over the field. He's barely been there. Aaron Rodgers is happy. He just got a humongous contract. And the Packers kill the Bears every day. I don't know who you're going to pick, but you Listen. know this better than anybody. No. You, you trick yourself in your brain. Oh, we're gonna, the, the, the Bears are going to beat the Packers, and we're going to beat Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is 3,422 and oh against the Bears. And oh against the Bears. At Lambeau, it's a national holiday. The Bears are going to get demolished. And, by the way, this guy's in the news saying that they can't block, the, that they're not going to be able to block Khalil Mack. You don't win guy championships or bets by a guy who's been there for a cup of coffee. Stu's mortal lock is the Green Bay Packers. I guarantee you, if you call his line and it's not the Green Bay Packers, he may not be on the show next week. Well, the Packers. guess what, Dave? You just ran into an immovable object because this is my NFC North play of the huh. year. I am putting one skull, two skulls, three skulls, four skulls, Five skulls on this pick. <laughs> the Chicago Bears plus seven and a half. Aaron Rodgers, I can hear his collarbone breaking right now. Khalil Mack will live in the backfield. Shea McClellan not walking through that door, but Khalil Mack is. And you better be scared, Aaron Rodgers. You got your fat big contract. Well, that's not going to save your collarbone on Sunday night. Chicago Bears take it to the bank. Tommy, do you have any stats? I don't even need a stat, Tommy. Just tell me I'm right. I just finished plugging the numbers into my Excel spreadsheet, and here's what it spit out. 
The Packers are 12 and 3 against the spread against the Bears in their last 15 okay, games. Okay, cut Tommy off. The Bears are the line. The Bears are 2 and 7 against the NFC North against the spread in their last 9 games. Listen, I just gave you my 5 skull NFC North play of the year and we still have three mortal locks coming from the three of us plus an extra one from a special guest right after this. Welcome back to the Barstool Sports Advisors. It is that time of the week, the Mortal Locks of the Week. We have Mortal Locks from the three of us, but we first have a special guest, the Sports Pope, Mike Francesa, with his Lock of the Week. All right, hello to all you Barstool crazies, and it's nice to have the NFL back. Uh, and let me get the important stuff out of the way first. You can get the uh, Mike's On app at mikeson.com. Uh, at iTunes or at Google Play, so check it out. We'll have our Football Sunday show back this year after a year hiatus, 9 to 12 this Sunday morning, exclusively on the app, and we'll also do a lot of immediate stuff. We'll do stuff late at night, after games, after playoff games, after Monday night games or Sunday night games, or whenever the feeling moves me. So you can get the app, uh, as we said, at mikeson.com or uh, on the conventional ways you always uh, get your apps, wherever you do that on whatever app store you use now need a pick for week number one which is always you know a, a little dangerous way to travel but uh, I'll give you two teams that I think uh, one's ready and one's not and that is Tampa Bay at the Saints uh, I don't like anything about it I've heard out of Tampa Bay I think their secondary is awful I think they have problems on offense I think that uh, uh, New Orleans is ready for big things um, they have obviously the ageless breeze, they have Kamara, they have a very, very talented and good offensive line, and they've got a sneaky good defense now, So, and they're very good at home. They expect big things this year. I think they're going to be a double-digit winner. I think they're going to be a playoff team. They're a team that has a shot to go all the way this year, and I think it'll be typical Saints at home in game one. Call it, you know, 37-17 Saints, nine-and-a-half point choice. That gets you home easy. Game number one. We'll see you soon. Ready to roll, baby. Dan David, spin it on. My best bet of the show, and this is the game that you could bet money on, is the Indianapolis Colts to blow out the Cincinnati Bengals. Now listen, listen, listen. Do you want to make a hundred? Do you want to make a thousand? Do you want to make ten thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand? Get over to StuFinder.com! StuFinder.com! StuFinder. Thanks, Stu. Dave, who do you have for your mortal lock of the week? Okay, Seattle at Denver. There's a little known fact not a lot of people know about Denver. Mile high the city, the altitude, it matters. Teams coming to this place, they can't play. They had an off year, Case Keenum, Orange Crush, Carl Mecklenburger. Give me the mask. Give me the mask. This game right here, altitude. It's going to be week one. They're going to be sucking for air, the Seahawks. They're not ready. They're going to be fourth quarter. They're going to get worn down. I love Denver in mile high, in the altitude. My altitude mortal lock of the year. Take the Broncos. They're back this year. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you, Dave. What's that? What's that? Oh, I'm talking to the Colts right now, and I like points. Points, points on Sunday. Colts, Bengals over 48 and a half. That is my lock of the day. And you're probably saying to yourself, I can't trust you, big cat. You, I mean, you're gorgeous. You got the mustache. You got the chain. You look great, but I can't trust you. Well, guess what, folks? I can not only lead a horse to water, but I can make them drink. <laughs> take Woo! the over. Colts, Bengals, take the Woo! over. We'll see you next Sunday, Barstool Woo! Sports Advisors. Woo!